Since we have m and b, we can just plug these in to slope-intercept form to find the equation for each of these lines. Line f has the equation y equals negative x minus 2. Line g we can just write as y equals negative 1 half x. You could of course also write plus 0 out here, but that's not necessary. And lastly, line h is y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. As we saw before, lines g and h have the same slope, negative 1 half, and we can see on the graph that they look parallel. They don't have the same y-intercept, but they do point in the same direction. Parallel, as we learned very early in the lesson, just means same slope.